Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kiki Run Oven Break. So, considering that the new update with S'more Kiki just came out, you know what that means? That means we get a new uh, entry into the story of Wish Badges. Now, apparently, this only has 11 days left, but as you can see, level 2 is available being Go See the Stars. Or Let's Go See the Stars. You know, it's important to have that lesson there. And we have Kanoli going, Whoa, this must be the entrance to the campsite. Yeah, sounds about right. And now this says this chapter is finished. It's locked, but I can still view all the story. And this one has four other cutscenes I can get. And what is this? What did I say? Old Wish? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just a cutscene that we haven't seen yet. But let, let's go ahead and let's enter into this. Let's see what we can see here. Because if you're wondering, last time that we left off, uh, I think S'more Cookie and Cannoli Cookie got kicked out of the camp, and that was really bad for uh, us. Because how can we try and view those shooting stars now? So. Let's, let's see how far we can get into this and hopefully not get kicked out again. And by, I, I mean, we're already kicked out. So, uh, and hey, what do we have to lose? Are you okay, Cannoli Cookie? Would you like, uh, would you like, uh, some roasted marshmallows? This is not fair. We were only trying to put out the fire. Do we really deserve to get kicked out? It's not like we started the fire. What do you think, Smart Cookie? But it's true that we made a mess. Let's have a cup of cocoa and reflect on what we're, on what we've done wrong. I'm sure Camp Leader Squirrel will eventually forgive us. I'm not in the mood for Coco right now. This is my very first camping trip. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this day. I've watched countless tutorials on how to pitch a tent on CookieTube, and I even brought candy light decorations so I don't get scared at the night. See? It looks so pretty around the tent. Hmm. And how about we put it up on the Hamsmore's T uh, RV? Might make you feel better. The, the Hamsmore RV? Mm-hmm. No, no. Wipe away your tears and take in the view. It'll make you feel much better. Everything will seem trivial when you're out. In the clear, vast nature. Look at that hamster. <laughs> That's a good hamster right there. It's definitely calming, but, but I'm way more impressed with something else. This perfect RV, the, the cozy macaroon table, the, the crackling campfire. This is all you, S'more Kiki? I told you, I already set up my camp in the woods. Yeah, but I, I didn't think it'd be this perfect. You're exactly the kind of camper I dreamed of becoming. S S'more Kiki, will you take me as your apprentice, please? No need for that, Canola Kiki. I can just teach you. Really? Oh, okay, well, what should I do first? Build a fire? Pitch a tent? Uh, polish the wheels in the hands more RV? Slow down. How about we sit here and enjoy the view? There's no need to rush. I always stop to take in the view while I see a scenery like this. Don't be silly, Smart Kiki. We don't have time for that. I've done nothing right on this camping trip. No one will ever see me as a true camper. But they were all things that can happen to anyone on their first camping trip. You don't need someone else's approval, you know? Right, I, I don't, but wouldn't it be nice to be recognized? All, all the campers I look up to are cool and famous. Were, were you as clumsy as me when you first started camping, S'more Kiki? My first time camping? Uh, of course. I was terrible at it. I even got lost in the forest once. Is it? Whoa. Oh, no, no. <laughs> lost in the forest. That's the worst forest you want to be lost in. That's demonic. That's evil! Hello? Where's everyone? I've traveled too deep in the forest. Maybe if I just stay here, someone will find me, but, but I really don't see anyone around. Hello? Friends? Anyone? I think I'm going in circles. I'm pretty sure I've seen that tree before. Horror cookie? Horror fan cookie? What? What? Horror fan cookie? Who is that? You know, there are scary tree monsters in the forest. They move around, unseen, scare little cookies who dare to enter the forest alone, and jumbles up all the paths. Oh no, I can't stop thinking about that spooky story. I'm, 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 I'm not scared, but I, I'm go it's going to be okay. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure something out. So cookies, get lost and wander the forest forever. <laughs> what? Uh, trees, please don't move around. I'm sorry, I, I wandered around on my own. I, I, I don't want to be lost in the forest forever. I, I want to go home. I'm, I'm scared. Someone help me, please. <laughs> what? What? What's that? What's that light over there? Oh, that's cute. Whoa. Be beautiful. A big bright star. I think it's asking me to follow it. The starlight is illuminating the way. And it's not dark anymore. And since then, I've been waiting for the same star. Only later, I realized it was the Star Candy Meteor. That day, I went home and desperately wished for it to appear again. Oh, that, that's really cool! So your wish really did come true? Hmm. I still remember that night's sky so clearly. I hope it appears again. 
Well, if I ever see the Star Candy Meteor, I'm gonna ask to make me the best camper ever. What are you gonna wish for, Smart Kiki? I just want to say thanks. I couldn't last time, so I'm gonna thank the star properly this time. Great idea! Well, then we should hurry, Smart Kiki. Come on, let's go! What? How? We've been kicked out of the campsite. We're not gonna go to the campsite! The vast nature is calling us! Let's go stargaze at the top of the mountain! But, Cannoli Kiki, it's going to get dark soon. And it's really cloudy. Eh, don't worry. If we start heading there now, we'll arrive just in time. Stargazing here isn't so bad, though. Ah, but the trees are so dense in the area. We have to head up to the highest point and see the stars up close. So we gotta go stargazing now. I swear, if it's not an easy path for Canola Cookie... I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that Canola Cookie only takes the hard paths, not the easy ones. If it's an easy path for Canola Cookie, that is a path that she will ignore. I really should have gotten a drink after that, because I don't have one prepared. And now I gotta go ahead and run for this. Now, the recommended cookie to run with is S'more Cookie, I guess. I think it is, yeah. And it's all at level 1, luckily. So, uh, luckily, all of our treasures seem to be in line. Even if our uh, little sweet potato fiery treasure uh, apparently doesn't do us much work. Um, by the way, what are the new things here? Uh, we have, uh, okay, three maps. One definitely seems to be the peak. Uh, and some more stumps, I guess. And I can slightly see the badges, but I won't read those yet. Because, uh... You know, that, that'll be for hard mode. Right now, we need to find a lost backpack, get some jellies, and also reach a high score of 120 million points. I don't think it'd be that hard, especially with the level that our pet is at. So, uh, let's just get this done. Go throw that. Uh, here's a little acorn for the squirrels. Gotta make those happy. I'm glad that, honestly, S'more Cookie is not only making the uh, other cookies happy, but also the squirrels. Like, by the way, what is this music? It's like, how do I say this? Oh, a, a checkpoint? Are they actually they actually marked down the checkpoints of where you would start now? Okay, that's pretty unique. I don't know how to call this. This music is like hectic, but also somewhat panic-inducing. But then again, I also like it. So you know what? It's just taking a little bit of time to grow on me. I swear that was a delayed jump right there. I did not mean to literally do that. I swear that was a delayed jump. I promise you. I'm not bad at the game. I would have made that jump easily. Oh, honestly, I could just start again. Actually, you know what? Wait, did I, did I just pass a checkpoint? I honestly want to test out how the... Well, I no, it doesn't matter. Actually, wait. Do we have a relay cookie? Or does that not just exist? That almost flo that almost just oven break rebaked me. That literally just almost chucked me into an obstacle. Oh my gosh. Okay. I realize how many videos I need to make because I keep forgetting that, like, when I only feel like... Oh. Man, I am really bad at this. I gotta go ahead and give that another one. How many missions did we do? <laughs> because I guarantee you it was not that much. It was only five missions. No, no, no. We still got to find ourselves a lost backpack. We have to do this again. And we need to get all these missions done, too. So, uh, cool. First run. But, uh, you think I'm just going to leave off on... You think I'm just going to leave off on that? I'll pick up all these, though. Because, uh, you know, free loot. And that gives us a set of gems, but we're not going to pick that up yet. We need to go ahead and give this another run. And hopefully we can get a plumbing backpack this time. Lots of backpack like immediately appear in, like, three seconds. Three, two, one... Okay, it did not happen this time. I think I did the same exact thing on a sudden, like, on, like, the previous chapter of this, and I don't think the same thing happened. I, no, I think, no, did the same thing happen? I don't remember. Okay, wait, no, now that said mission one complete? Excuse me? I, I, I'm so confused. I guess maybe, uh, that was just coincidence, getting the checkpoint and, uh, getting the mission complete thing all done. Also, I should probably do an extra jump right there just so I can, like, get extra progress, like, right before I land after hitting the spring. Pretty sure. But, like, uh, get those jellies, nice. And, uh, skill activates once again. Now, I feel like we're fine for the most part. Okay, okay, there's the backpack. There's the backpack. We're all fine now. Now we just have to focus on a bunch more missions, which I can only imagine has to do with just getting a bunch of jellies in total and also getting a bunch of points in general. And also, we have to get past six flags. Honestly, I can go for an amusement park right now. There we go. There's the next mission. I think we only have to do two more. Yeah, it's just the jelly completion one, and that'll take a lot of jellies, but hopefully this will help. Okay, and got the big one, so that's going to give us a lot more jellies. Big jump, big jump, more explosions. Uh, will this one be enough to get the rest, though? I don't know, it's going to look very close. Okay, there we go. We got it. Uh, oh, we just need, we need to get 1,000 more. Oh my gosh. See, even with our skill, I don't think that's possible, because like, look how many jellies there are. I think we're going to have to do another run. I may just do the run off camera or something. Or maybe I could do it quickly on camera. I mean, it saves... Okay, it's jellies in total. So we have six right now. So we just have to do this last one, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Let's just collect all these, though, because look at all that loot. 
Ah, oh, we can get all those sweet, precious gems. Just one more set of run, and I'm pretty sure- And by that, I mean just one more run. I'm pretty sure this should all be perfect. In fact, there's a chance I actually get the billion point mission done. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's a chance I get the billion point mission done right after uh, I, you know, you know, get- What is it? Right before? Before or after? I'm getting confused. I did it. <laughs> I don't think th I think that means I can just quit now. Well, I'm just gonna get the flag. I was gonna say I'll get the billion point missions done before I get the uh, jelly missions done, which luckily I've accomplished. And now that I think about it, I don't think there's a purpose of me running in this anymore. So I may as well just go ahead and just stop. You know, I'm gonna stop it once I hit a uh, hundred million. There we go, hundred million stop. All right. So I think after this it does give me a cutscene because it gives me like four bits of story. So I think that's two like for this episode. Because I think it's going to be like, you know, one for you start, one when you complete the first area, and one when you complete the second area, and the last one when you complete the third area. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Hopefully. Let's go with death, and get that, and there we go. So we should have all the gems, and now we should have the next area unlocked, and, uh, should, oh yeah, 500 gems, and there we go. That story piece is unlocked, and it says the Stargazing Hill. Uh, oh, okay, that's just a description for cookie stories. I thought that was like a summary of the story. Okay. <sighs> It's more than I thought. We have to keep going because it's gonna get dark real soon. Don't worry. If we get lost, there will be another path. And it's probably best to be a little bit more quiet from now on. Here, take this. Why? And also, what's this? Wildlife repellent spray? Wow, you're always well prepared, Smart Kiki. You never know what might happen in the forest. Chakra bears often appear in the area, so stay quiet. What? Then the, we need to get out of here. I'll climb a tree and look for another path above. I don't think that's a good idea. What? I, I can't hear you. Let's see, the fastest way up to the mountain is a... Huh? Why do I hear buzzing? Oh no, bees! Ah! I think I touched the sunflower beehive! It's more cookie run! It's going to follow us even if we run, cannoli cookie. Ah! Uh, help! Is, is s'more just fine? Uh, camping in the wilderness sure isn't easy, but me, cannoli cookie, won't give up yet. By the way, this cliff is too steep. Is there no other way? Well, you wanted the fastest way to the top. If we want to get to the top before sunset, this is the fastest path. Uh oh, I, I felt a raindrop. There could be lightning, so let's find a place to get out of the rain before it gets more cloudy. And they're crossing a bridge. <laughs> that small, like, sprite... I just love how in all these frames, S'mores Cookie has not cared at all. It's just default expression, default expression, default expression. Maybe the second one, he looks a little bit more sweaty, but I'm pretty sure that's just because the rain drops. It's just all default. This way. We have to cross the bridge before the river rises. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. How are you so calm, Spore Kiki? Well, we are in the mountains, and this much struggle is expected. Don't worry, once we cross the bridge, it won't be as steep. And there are small on the trees here, so be careful not to slip. Ah! Oh, I got you, Kanoma Kiki. Thanks, I, I almost fell down the bottom of the valley. Well, some jellies in front of a warm fireplace will be nice right now. Hang in there, Kanoma Kiki. The rain is going to pour down even harder soon. Oh, that... I'm surprised how the fire is still lit up. Wow, the, the thunder is so loud! My socks and my cannoli sleeping bag are soaked. It was a good idea to set up the tent early, like you said. My tent isn't perfect, but that's what camping is all about. It was you who found us a place to pitch our tents under a big tree, Cannoli Cookie. Thanks to you, I think we can even make a fire. Could you break the branches into small pieces? Oh, I, I, I admire you, Smore Kiki. We've got this far because we're working together. Here, I brought some energy bar jellies. Let's split them in half. Oh, it tastes like roasted marshmallows. When will, it, when will I ever be as relaxed and calm as you, Smore Kiki? You didn't even panic when I, when it started to rain. You're such a cool camper. You're an excellent camper too, Canola Cookie. You're not afraid to try new things, and your love for camping is second to none. You don't need to be like anyone else, and you don't need to be. You, you don't need to compete. There, there are as many ways to enjoy camping as there are campers, and there's no right answer. So, keep going and build your own path, Canola Cookie. Do you know? Do, do what feels right to you. Thank you for saying that, Smart Cookie. I wouldn't have made it this far alone. I know I still have a lot to learn, and that's why I wanted to accomplish something of my own. But now I think I understand what you're saying, Smurk. You, you don't need to rush or be on the move all the time, staying still and enjoying the view. You know, that That's just relaxing. Sitting by the campfire with you and listening to the sound of the rain is also enjoyable. I'm glad to hear that. I think it's better to be together than alone. I've always camped alone, and this isn't so bad. Hmm? Smurk? He must have been tired. Smurk, are you sleeping? Smart Kiki? What's wrong? Did Smart Kiki legitimately just Walmart on us? Did he pass out on us? Maybe do Hopefully, maybe what's gonna happen in the second part is that it's gonna swap over to like Canola E Cookie taking like a leading role, 
and she's gonna try and drag some more cookie after the rain stops to try and view all the uh you know the shooting stars and stuff and pray that some more cookie wakes up just in time at least by the time that the uh shooting stars actually uh start all right but with that being said we got to continue on with more of the story but that will be for a later video so with that being said if you enjoy the video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever i do in the future also down in the description you will see links to all my social media including a twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes i can give the kick around new to stuff for absolutely free you will see a link to a discord server called the hype news hub which is mine and also a link to my merchandise if you want to buy anything to represent the channel but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video Hail the hype knees.